Um, yeah, so that worked pretty nice. And that is that. Now the... Uh, oh, you know what? The sound effects were just going straight through because I bypassed all of the plugins. All of the effects plugins were bypassed. So what I'll do now is basically we're hearing without any of the sends. But what I'm going to do is mute all the sends. So now they're all muted. And I'll introduce it here. Coming up. So let's quickly take a look here. I have some parallel compression on probably all of these things. Not the individual drums, the drums themselves. Um, the bass, the guitar, piano, vocals, and background vocals. So I have two, the H comp for one of them, and then the VC76 for another. And having two of them, you get a different sound, and you can blend them together. Uh, I did that. I have some drum reverb on select things. So kick, I put a little bit. Snare, quite a bit. Toms, not as much. Overheads, not as much. Quite a lot on the hats. Drum rooms, I didn't want to put any reverb, because they are reverb essentially. Bass, I had some room reverb and some convolution room reverb. Guitar, I had some doubler and chorus and slap as well as the reverb. That kind of spruced it up. Piano, same thing, doubler, chorus, slap, plus some reverb. Vocals, doubler, chorus, slap, vocal reverb, and then a convolution room reverb. And background vocals, same thing, but more of everything, essentially. Plus a hall reverb to push them a little bit further back in the mix. So, <laughs> we got that done. Um, let's just have a little listen. So as is, I'm quite happy with how it's sounding. Um, it does feel like it could have a little bit of low end. And there's definitely some volume that can be added. Uh, as you can see, if I play it now. We're kind of just kissing the limiter not too heavily um, and like I said yeah I could use a little bit more volume so now let's get down to the nitty-gritty dirty stuff the the final mix polish in this case like I said I was using this BX control for the mono maker and I'm not sure if you can really hear the difference um, just listen for the low end 
solidness. Like whatever might be playing already without this plugin on might be quite centered at these frequencies and below already. So this might not be doing all that much different than when it's bypassed. But whatever it would be f kind of fixing, it would make a good difference um, if you have like a sub playing while you're playing this here. You'll definitely hear some clarity and a little bit more punch. So let's hear. Tensions are just bad enough to be good. The situation's still blurry, baby. But I can bet you if you don't, you'll wish you could. Pick up the phone, call out my name, because you see, I'm a risk worth taking. Baby, slow down and listen now, because I've got more. So I can definitely hear it working. It kind of sounds like it's making it sound more mono and it kind of sucks like it, it's it's like oh dang it's making it more mono you wouldn't really want that but when you when you crank it on a system or something it just sounds more powerful and more tight and just kind of better so you kind of just have to experiment a little bit and then it's more of an in intellectual realization of like this actually this does sound better even though it's like it sounds more mono but anyways that's just the way that i think about it um now the next in line is probably the most important to the sound and it's these two pull techs. the mid mid range not so much but this low end one for sure is adding some uh some polish so let's hear these guys. Baby, slow down and listen now. I've got more than enough of that love that you're missing. Slow down, pay attention. We've got nothing but time, so baby, don't say goodbye. Baby, slow down. So without it, it, it does sound quite balanced. And then when I put the plug-in back in, it sounds like, oh, there's too much bass boost. But then when you kind of just listen to it after a while, it really sinks in and, and it starts sounding good and you pull it away and it starts sounding terrible again. <laughs> Not terrible, but you definitely hear that low end is totally missing again. Here, a comfortable, Baby, you comfortable don't balance in the EQ. So I left it with quite a bit of boost in this low end and the top end a little bit of boost as well. It kind of cut it. It gave it that sort of smiley, smiley shape, smiley, sh smiley face shape. And then this mid range, I just felt like throwing it on there, seeing if it made a difference. Didn't make much of a difference, but I just kept it on because it, it also does a kind of shapey thing kind of a polish shape let's see if we can hear the difference
So having put this mid-range plugin in, the bass boost doesn't sound quite as harsh or too much anymore. It sounds like these two plugins are working perfect together and they're both sculpting the sound and making a kind of polish both in the low top for the first pull tech and then in the mid-range it's kind of doing a, a mid-range polish. That's kind of how I hear it. Let's, uh, let's take both of them off and both of them back on. So yeah, without these plugins, it sounds kind of boring and unpolished. So this was like, this is one of the first times I've actually used the Poltec because I just got it recently. And that's, that's why I was saying before that you might need these plugins or something similar to do what I'm doing. And this is kind of, this is kind of my opinion, but I, I think it kind of speaks for itself of how much it's doing to the whole song it's just that kind of final touch that final polish that i've been always looking for and kind of only just learned how important something like a pull tech on the two bus really does help to get that sound you do all of this processing beforehand and eq and compression and whatnot and then this, these two plugins on the two bus makes everything just sound a lot more polished. So, yeah, we're doing that, and then we're running that into the API 2500 compressor. I tried a, what is it, um, SSL style bus compressor, and it wasn't quite doing what I, what I wanted it to do. The API seemed to be doing it a little bit better. So let's hear it. So yeah, here it's, I think particularly it's the soft knee that's doing the, doing what's quite a bit different than what the SSL is doing. And it's doing that very well. So that's what I needed was a nice soft, soft knee compression. It's capturing the, the bass quite well. So without this, it still sounds a little bit bass heavy. And then you turn this on and it kind of is shaving off that bass stuff, whatever it's from, the kick and the, the bass guitar and stuff. It's kind of just shaving that off quite nicely um, and doing something with the tone. Not exactly sure, but I like it. So I kept that on. And lastly is the uh, the soft clipper running into the L2. My intentions are just bad enough to be good. The situation's still blurry, baby. But I can bet you if you don't, you'll wish you could. Pick up the phone, call out my name, because you see, I'm a risk worth taking. Baby, slow down and listen now, because I've got more than
so not necessary. It does seem like it's pushing a little too hard now that I listen to it for a, a good second time here. Um, but if you drive it just a little less, it's boosting the volume a little bit, boosting the, it sounds like the top end as well. It's like doing some kind of distortion stuff. So it's brightening up the top end a little bit. Um, Pick up the phone, call out my name because you see I'm a risk worth taking. Baby, slow down and listen now because I've got more than enough of that love you're missing. Slow it does kind of just add a little bit of volume and saturation overall which is decent so we'll just keep that on um yeah so this kind of brings this video to an end it's already like an hour <laughs> i did not think that i was gonna go a whole hour for this thing oh you know what what is this there's one more plug in here that i didn't show so the drum rooms i I also put this super tap on. I don't know if it makes much of a difference. I think it made a little bit of difference. If you really, really listen for it, if you have good headphones or something, I'm sure you can hear the, hear the difference. Um, because this is like a reverb, essentially. It's like a room capturing everything. It's technically kind of just a reverb. And it's very mono without this thing. Very mono sounding. So if you just push it to the sides, it really makes for a more pleasant kind of reverb sound. And especially because the, the drums, the kick and the snare and the hats and the vocals, they're all running down the middle. So if you let the, that stuff breathe down the middle and the reverby thing, these rooms breathe on the outside, they kind of blend together a little bit better. So here's, here's the final result, and I think it's quite polished.